I have just unpacked my console and I can't emphasize this more than enough always always do the very first step in your book and make sure that you have all of the hardware and all of the wood before you start because there's nothing worse than getting a project started and finding out you're missing something and that's happened to me in the past so I always make sure everything is there and everything is here so I am going to start putting this together and I'll get back to you as, you, as I go along so you can see what's happening well I've been going at this now for about 45 minutes and all I have left to put on is the doors so I'm quite pleased with it it's nice it's sturdy you've got to really pay attention to your instructions the instructions are good but pay close attention some of these have lips on them flat on this side lips on this side you have to make sure that your lips are where they're supposed to be make sure that the front of your sides with the pieces of wood is in the front um, the bottom metal and top metal match so that kind of helps the back there's just a lot of screws to put on it's a little bit thicker I think than some of the other um, backboards that you get with uh, flat packs lots and lots of screws but it's looking good and I am going to finish it up and I'll show you what it looks like just a little tip for those who don't know I'm sure there's a lot of people already know this but if you don't know my first door is in if you open the door and it is rubbing not hanging straight all you have to do is get your screwdriver and there is a screw let's get the screwdriver in it okay there's a screw right here you turn it and watch as you turn it and it's loosening it up it's giving it the space it needs so don't worry if you put your door in and you find that it's wonky, it's, it's not sitting straight, you can adjust those. Like I have to adjust the bottom here, it's a bit wider than the top now. So you just adjust those screws. It's, uh, you can't tell on the inside, do I have a flashlight? Hold on a second. Okay, flashlight to the rescue. It's uh, this one right here. And the same up on the top. It's this one right here. So you just turn it until your door is hanging the way it's supposed to hang. And you're good. Well, I'm done. And I must say, I'm really pleased with the result. The instructions were very good. The only thing missing from the instructions were where to place the door stops. There was nothing in there about the door stops. So I just put them in myself. I mean, this thing has lots and lots of space. It is very nice. It is very sturdy. Now, we are in the process of converting the top of our garage, the loft of our garage, into a bar. It's a bit of a mess now because we're still insulating and what have you not. But this is to be able to put the game systems and what, whatever the kids want to put by the TV, which swings over so you can watch TV and they can play games out here. So this is, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I think the whole, the total time um, that it took me to build was an hour. I'm not counting the, the breaks I took in between because I took a few of those. I would imagine um, an hour's worth of work and the only time I needed somebody to help me was when I was putting the, the top on because you have to line up so many um, cams and, and dowels and stuff that I needed my husband on one end and me on the other end to lower it and, and put it precisely. But other than that, I did the whole thing myself. So, very nice, definitely worth the money, and it's going to come in very handy.